Welcome to the Social University Podcast. We are so glad you're joining us today because we want to help business owners, entrepreneurs, and people just like you who want to build their business online. Listen, if we can do it, you can do it. So let's go. Good morning. I'm Karen Taradis with Social U, and we come to you live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Central to talk about social media tips, tricks, and trends. This is Social U. July is a little unusual because people are coming and going. It's the middle of vacation season. This week, we are going to talk about what are threads? Do you need to be on that platform? Is it something that you need to be concerned with as a small business owner? We're going to take a deeper look at threads. Um, Next week, we are going to talk about the power of the niche. And the last week of this month, we're going to talk about branding do's and don'ts, things you need to be aware of if you are, in fact, starting or rebranding your company. So let's get started. Um, Threads. What are threads? I know if you've been online at all this week, you have heard the word threads. It's it's everywhere. So basically, threads is a text based conversation app that um, by Facebook, by Meta, that is designed to be a space where communities can come together to discuss everything from the topics you care about to what's trending. That's the official um, that's the official line from Meta. But um, it's mostly text. You can use pics or video. But the short version is Threads is Meta's version of Twitter. Uh, Twitter and Meta are going to war to find out who can who can basically win. They really took advantage of the state of chaos that Twitter is in. And it's one of the fastest launches that's that's been. Um, they started talking about it in October of last year and they've already launched uh, Twitter's web traffic has already gone down 5% and went down 5% in the first two days after Threads was available for public use. Um, it officially launched last Wednesday, July the 5th, after <coughs> confirming its plans like just three months ago. Very fast, very fast launch. It gained 80 million followers within the first two days, surpassing previous growth record set by ChatGPT and making it the fastest growing platform in history. Um, The record holder before that was Pinterest with 10 million users in the first 30 days. So we're, and they're, they have 80 million in the first week, week. Um, Oh, excuse me. 80 million in the first two days, 100 million in the first week, because it's only been a week a week today, and they're already sitting at 100 million, which is insane, record-breaking. So many people are jumping on threads. Again, they're taking advantage of the chaos that's happening on Twitter. So now that you know what it is and kind of some stats about it, how does it work? What do you need to know about it for your business? Well, um, thread accounts can be listed just like Um, Instagram could be listed public or private. And of course, this is because it's meta. You use this in conjunction with your Instagram account. So just like Instagram, you could be public or private in your threads use as well. Um, And if you're verified on Instagram, you're automatically verified on threads. Bonus, they're, they're trying to make it as easy as possible for users to sign up. You can sign up through your Instagram account. It allows you to keep the same username, password, and account name. You can keep all the same stuff, which is handy. Um, you can edit your bio on Threads so that it is unique to your Threads account. You don't have to have the same bio that you do on Instagram. Um, you can also import the list of accounts you follow directly from Instagram, making it super easy to get up and running on the app. So Instagram has made these things very simple, user friendly, right? So what's the drawback? Where's the um, what's the catch? Well, the catch is you can't leave. Um, you can temporarily deactivate your account. But the only way to remove your Threads account is to delete your Instagram account. So that Instagram account that you've had for 10 years and you've had that username for 10 years, if you get on Threads and you don't like it, the only way to get rid of it is to delete everything. I don't think people understood what they were signing up for when they jumped on the bandwagon. And for sure, not everybody agreed to, I don't think anybody read the privacy um, disclaimer that you have to agree to, to get on. I, I can't imagine they'd have this many users if they did. When you sign up for threads, 
you agree to allow access to your location, your contacts, your search history, your browsing history, your contact info device identifiers, your purchase history, and your financial information. Instagram gets all of it. So if you have signed up for threads, you have told Instagram, it is okay to access literally everything you have on your phone. Uh, Most people don't realize that Instagram uses um, face mapping. Um, TikTok got accused of that during the trials they had. They don't actually do it, but Instagram does. Nobody mentions that. Um, And surely nobody talked about that during the TikTok trials. So what's the official word? My official recommendation for threads? Wait, just give it a minute. Let's see. It's brand new. We don't know. It's like, you know, buying a new car right off the line. Um, You don't know the glitches or the issues that it's going to have. It's only been seven days. Um, I'm very hesitant to sign up for anything with such a stringent, stringent, uh, invasive policy, privacy policy. And I'm very hesitant to sign up for anything that you can't unsign up for. You can't, you can't delete it. You can't stop using it. You can delete the app off your phone, but you're still going to have that threads account. So officially I would tell you to wait. Um, Normally when there's a new social media platform, when there's a new anything, our team goes in to do some beta testing. I like to test it and look at it for at least 30 days before we make any kind of official recommendation to our client base. I'm hesitant to even test this because of the, how invasive it is. Insanely invasive. So I will tell you guys as a business owner, just give it a minute watch and wait and see what happens before you jump on the bandwagon and sign up for threads use. Um, Yeah, I'm very hesitant on this one. And I know I'm conservative and cautious, but come on, they want to access everything. Um, And I had somebody ask me why, why would they do that? It makes for a much more um, all round, more robust advertising experience for the people who pay for sponsored ads. It allows them to target iPhone users or Android users or women who are looking for vacuum cleaners or men who are shopping for cooking utensils, whatever you're looking for, it gives all of that information. And I just, I'm just not here for it. So yes, threads is growing like crazy for the love of Pete, just give it a minute and let's see where it goes before you decide to commit and get on board. If you have any questions, if there's anything you want to know or you want to talk about it further, let me know. You're more than welcome to leave a comment so that we can discuss um, more more if you want to. Otherwise, I will be back next week. Um, I will be here next Wednesday to talk about what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, the power of the niche. And then the last week of the month, we're going to talk about branding do's and don'ts. If there's a topic you're interested in, let us know. Um, we're always happy to schedule and add it to the rotation. I definitely want to talk more about what you guys want to hear about. Until next week, I am Karen Taradis with Social You, and I'm here to help. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for the Social University podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media at Stay Social You. That's the letter U, and we will talk to you next week. Remember, you've got this.